this out. What up, everybody? Unlicensed assassin. Dun -dun -dun. Brrrack with another one. Two oh, continuation. So, uh, second or third item, I forgot. I don't know. I lost track because it's a different day. But um, another hot summer day where I live. It's crazy how we can go from winter. Uh, three, four weeks ago, uh, I shit you not, it was goddamn snowing. So, it's 95 out there right now. So, uh, but uh, Ross Tool Hall, this is the Olympia Tools Folding Knife. It doesn't say pocket, just says folding knife. I gotta remember that when I put up the thing on, on whatever, on YouTube. Uh, part number 400-290-0796. Part number 400-290-0796. Seven nine six. Uh, I honestly got this for six ninety nine or nine ninety nine. My bad, nine ninety nine compared with that fifteen. So I got five bucks off. Whatever. But uh, I got it because of the combo. It's got a little sharpener, fine ceramic, and a coarse carbide. And I don't know how to use it. I think you'd use the coarse one first and then use the fine after. I have no idea. Um, but let's get it open. See what we got. What should we use? I always use the same three. So let's get in there. Get in there! Let's use the little Coast FX200. Bottle opener on one end, knife. And I'm gonna buy the equivalent of this because it has a quarter inch bit right here somewhere. Boom, right there. Mm. They snuck it in there. They said, we can utilize that space. Smith & Wesson. So I'm going to get uh, sharpness on that coast. Okay, 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 okay. Always recycle. Okay, 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 so let's use this. A couple passes on each. So, here it is. There's your uh, sharpener, just used it. There's your Olympia tools, just used the little FX Coast to open it, FX 200. Um, pocket clip, decent. Decent. Lanyard hole, we'll put something in there. Uh, I like the gray camo. It's like gray and green and black digi camo. Binky. Nice. One bank. One bank. Liner lock. Flipper dipper. Okay, Olympia. You did it. I didn't see it was a flipper dipper because I didn't I just didn't realize. But it's got thumb stud. You you y'all see it right out of the pack. Schmooty patootie. Schmooty patootie. I think it had ball bearings and they work. Wow. Yep. With sharpener, with ball bearings. You gotta be kidding me. Um, sharp. Hell yeah. Drop point blade. Wow. Nice, nice. So I'll give it a couple of passes just to keep it sharp. But what do we got? Drop point. Yep, 
drop point, half serrated. Let's get a length for you. Uh, four inch blade. Handle is awesome. Nice shape. Has some jimping on the top. Got a little jimp jimp right there. With the flipper and some jimping on the liner lock. Pocket clip flows well. Let's put a lanyard on this thing. But wow, ball bearings for 10 bucks. Definitely going in the collection. Look at that action. Haven't even oiled it. Right out of the box. Pow! Right in the kisser. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna open a DeWalt knife here in a minute and we're gonna compare the action to an Olympia Tools $10 knife. The DeWalt one was only $14, $15. It wasn't too expensive, but wow. I just, sometimes I get dumbfounded by knives because I've bought $100 knives that don't have the action of $10 knives, truck stock knives. It's insane. This thing is broken already. It can only get smoother. But every time I've hit the flipper, she's popped up. I can't get it to fail. Thumb stud, can't get it to fail. Every single, I'm trying to hit it lightly to get it to fail. There it is. First fail. And it was almost there. That's so smooth. Drop shut. Cut up. But every time, minimal pressure. And if you flist, if you flist, if you flip it with the wrist every time, for sure. If you give it a little, oh my gosh. Wow. Didn't think I was going to like carrying this thing, but sweet. So I will put this sharpener. And it's a little basic sharpener. I mean, what can it hurt? Put this over with my other sharpener. Okay, Olympia tools, black stone washed. Um, don't know the steel. You saw how sharp it was out of the box. Um, before I forget, let's put a lanny. You know, I don't like to put a black one every time, but with the black blade, it's just gonna flow the best. White's gonna get too dirty. Blue doesn't really go with it. This aqua kinda, but no. Nah. So again, that's why I go through so many black lanyards. Not cause I want to, but I'll use these colors sometime. Maybe this powder blue.
There you go. That mint actually flows, all right? But again, black would have flowed. But I like using other colors. I don't like to only use black, that mint. Yeah, that flows. Black probably would have flowed better. Not gonna lie, because all the accents on it are black. Yeah. Sorry. I can always switch it, but that mint pops a little bit. I like that. All right. There it is. Olympia Tools. Flipper Dipper. My goodness. I mean, that thing, that thing is, it's crazy. 10 bucks, 10 bucks at the Ross for that flipper dipper. Ball bearings, sharp drop point blade, jimping, dual thumb stud, pocket clip. Let's check that real quick. I'm sure it's fine. They're all the same nowadays. Nice and tight. Yeah, it's tight. That's fine. It'll get looser, but out of the pocket, that thing, that thing is awesome. Yeah, awesome. So again, Olympia tools. I think it was a, so it's like a seven inch or eight inch, four inch blade, four inch handle. All right, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs up you know my motto i can't make you do nothing but i appreciate you when you do unlicensed assassin deuces